Hi there, in this video we're going to look at units and how units and scientific notation can be used interchangeably to help us rewrite large or perhaps sometimes small values in a more convenient fashion. Uh, now you've probably know some units already just from your daily life uh, because we work with them all the time. Millimeters, milliliters, kilograms, kilometers, so we have an instinctual understanding of what those units are already. We know that a kilometer is actually just 1,000 meters. A kilogram is just 1,000 grams. The kilo is a shorthand for the 1,000. It's easier to say 1 kilogram than it is to say 1,000 grams, for example. So let's have a look at whether we can write 11,000 volts in kilovolts. Um, and you'll often find this when um, electricians are referring to medium voltage lines. They'll say an 11 kilovolt line rather than a le an, an 11,000 volt line because it's, it's a more convenient shorthand that we've got. Okay, well we know that 11,000 volts, well, that's the same as 11 times 1,000 volts which we know is 11 times 10 to the power 3 volts. The 1,000 and the 10 to the power 3, they mean, they mean the same thing. 1,000, remember, it's just 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times by itself, 3 times. But we also know that 1,000 can be abbreviated to this kilo. So a kilovolt is the same thing as a 1,000 volts. Well, therefore, 11,000 volts is simply 11 kilovolts. Now I want you to notice all of these things mean 1,000. The K means 1,000. Obviously the 1,000 means 1,000. And the 10 to the power 3 means 1,000. Those are all just different ways we have of writing the number 1,000. Either in full or using exponential form or using a unit form. So, 11 kilovolts is the same thing as 11,000 volts, which is the same thing as 11 times 10 to the power 3 volts. All of these numbers mean exactly the same thing. There is the 1,000, here is the 1,000, and here is the 1,000. Those are just different ways of representing the value 1,000. 11 kilovolts, 11,000 volts, 11 times 10 to the 3 volts. Let's take a look at another example. Here we've got, you might not have seen this symbol before, um, this is a Greek letter and you would read this as a 470 microfarad capacitor. Now for the purposes of this example you don't need to know what a capacitor is. If you do, fantastic. If you don't, well course 10 in uh, this program will help you out with, a, with what a capacitor is. And farads, you don't even need to know what the units farads are, just that they are what capacitance, the unit of measure of capacitors, are measured in. So 470 microfarads, well what is that? Well micro, this letter here, mu, Greek letter mu, we use for micro, and micro is another way of saying one millionth, and one millionth is another way of saying one divided by one million. And we know from a previous video that this 1 million is actually 10 to the power 6. And so when we move it from the denominator into the numerator, we change the sign of the exponent from positive to negative. So 1 millionth is the same thing as 10 to the negative 6. Okay, remember this is equal to 1 divided by 10 to the positive 6. Okay, so in our example, 470 microfarads. Well, that's the same thing as saying 470 millionths of a farad. This millionth here is 10 to the power 6, remember? So we can write that as 470 times 10 to the power negative 6 farads. That means a millionth. This 1 over a million, or 1 divided by 10 to the power 6, which is equal to 10 to the negative 6. That means a millionth that means a millionth. They all mean the same thing, one millionth. So, in the case of our example, 470 microfarads, 
is the same as 470 times 10 to the negative 6 farads. And we can also work it out in this way over here. Let's quickly do that just in case we need to get on the same page. So 470, there is the decimal point. Millionth, remember this is 10 to the negative 6, we need to move the decimal point 6 places to the right. So let's move it 1, 2, 3. As soon as the decimal point becomes there, we need to put a 0 in. 4, we need another 0. 5, I'm not drawing smiley faces. <laughs> we need another 0. 6, we need another 0. So the decimal point lands up over there, which is why this number is 0 0.000. 470, ah, that last zero we don't really need, so uh, that's why I didn't write it over here. But all of these things mean exactly the same thing. Now, what happens if we want to write 470 microfarads as millifarads? How do we do that? Okay, well, milli, as you probably know from real life, is one thousandth. A milliliter is one thousandth of a liter. There are one thousand milliliters in one liter. And we know that one thousandth is the same as one divided by a thousand. Remember the thousand there is the same as 10 to the power three. Bring it to the top, change the sign of the exponent, becomes 10 to the negative three. So we saw that 470 microfarads was 0 0.00047 farads. So if we want to convert this number now into millifarads, well, we need to multiply by a thousand. So this is 0 0.47. We need to move the decimal point one, two, three places. So the decimal point will land up over there. Remember, microfarads is smaller, one millionth, than millifarads, which is just one thousandth. And the difference between 1 divided by 10 to the 6 and 1 divided by 10 to the 3. Well, the difference there, we've got 3 powers of 10. So that's 10 times 10 times 10. In other words, a thousand. A milli is 1,000 times bigger than a micro. And that is exactly why we had to move the decimal point to the right to make the number bigger. Okay. We're going to do more of these unit to unit conversions in another video, but I just all that you need to get from this video is let me go back to this one over here. That this unit here, for example, micro means one millionth, and 470 micro farads is the same as 470 times 10 to the 6 farads. That's also micro, which is the same thing as. 0 0.00047 farads. All of those numbers mean exactly the same thing and we can use them interchangeably.